Kavari crew, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is kind of gonna be all over the place. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title this video or what this video is gonna consist of, but Mel and I are leaving for a long time, like about two, three weeks tonight. So I really wanted to film a video so I can edit on the plane and I could have a video for you guys while we're back home for the holidays. So we are spending Christmas and New Year's Eve and stuff in Ohio with our families. I'm so excited. And we're also going to be having my Ohio baby shower while we're there as well. So my mom and Mel's mom have been planning it. So you guys are going to be seeing that soon in a vlog as well. But I'm actually having two baby showers. I'm having one in Ohio because that's where my family and Mel's family lives. And then I'm going to have one in LA with like all of my friends and stuff. So if you guys are new here, hello, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and also turn on your post notifications. Oh my God, Nala is going to knock over my Gatorade. I already know. If you guys are cat owners, you know that they knock over cups, they knock over drinks, they just like knocking shit over. It's really weird. It does not make any sense. So I saw her up on the table with this. I'm like, I know her ass is going to spill it everywhere. Anyways, back to what I was saying. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and also turn your post notifications so you'll never miss out on an upload. So we've been in the house for four days now. You guys saw we just moved into our brand new home. If you guys haven't seen our empty house tour, I will link it down below. But we have just been like getting settled. It's crazy because we like just moved in and now we're going to be leaving. It's kind of nice because I'm like, I just need a break. I really need a break. Mel and I need a freaking break, you guys. Like always these trips back home to Ohio always happen at the perfect time because it's always a time where Mel and I really just need to unwind and relax. Vlogmas, the pregnancy, and moving has just been so stressful on us. And you know, when we're stressed out, we like lash out at each other and it's just not healthy in our relationship. So we just, every single time we start getting super flustered and like stressed out, we always say to each other, like we can't wait to go back home and just relax, you know, like just dress comfortable, eat our parents cooking and just, you know, unwind, relax. We've just been doing a lot of organizing and running last minute errands. We finally gave the keys back to our previous apartment today. So that was like a big thing we had to do today. Um, I had to meet with Nala's new pet sitter since we're in a new area. Um, Mel right now, he's out dropping the dogs off at the pet sitter's house. We have two different pet sitters, so Nala always stays at the house and I have someone come here every day to like check on her, grab our mail, you know, watch the house. But then the dogs, we just go ahead and take them to a rover's house because you know dogs like need more attention cats can be more independent but dogs need like constant attention and then i had no coat and we're going to a very cold area so we stopped at nordstrom rack and we bought like a bunch of coats and also oh my gosh i forgot to mention before we go back home for two days we're actually going to chicago with my girl danny dmc and t-bell you guys have seen her in a bunch of my videos and all my social medias but it's so crazy we just became friends this year like all of us became friends and we just became friends, I would say we met at LA Pride. So I'm not sure when that was, like May or June, but she easily has become one of my closest and dearest friends. So that just goes to show like we just met a few months ago and Mel and I are already flying to stay at her parents' house with her for a few days because that's where her and T-Bell are originally from. They're from Chicago. So we're going to be staying over at her house and she's going to show us around Chicago, which I'm so excited about. And luckily Chicago is really close to Ohio. Like the flight from Chicago to Ohio is like 45 minutes. But I just want to give you guys an update on the house. Finally, we have gotten rid of all the boxes. That was stressing me out so much. I'm someone who needs to be in a clean environment. Let me put my phone on vibrate. Oh my gosh, it keeps on going off. I'm someone who needs to be in like a clean, organized environment or I'm just all over the place. I get super flustered, super stressed out and seeing all those U-Haul boxes everywhere and me not being able to find things that I needed, I literally had a mental breakdown. I don't know if it's the pregnancy hormones or what, but I honestly burst it out into tears. It's also because like Mel and I didn't really have like any help. It was just a lot moving like us to unpacking in this big house like it's a big adjustment going from a smaller apartment to a big house it's like when you forget something downstairs it's a lot more work to get it you know what i mean so and i actually went to bed bath and beyond yesterday i believe and we got a bunch of stuff for the house so i'm actually going to insert the footage and show you guys a little bed bath and beyond home it's not home decor it's more like utensils and you know like vacuums and mops and stuff i'm gonna do a quick little bed bath and beyond haul right now so you guys can see some of the stuff we bought for the house since nas is taking forever i'm gonna go ahead and start the haul of the things that we just went to go buy for the crib i finally upgraded 
my makeup mirror because I don't have like mine, the light went out like a year ago. So I got the new iHome vanity speaker. Look at this. So you can like plug in your phone, you can charge your phone, you can connect to Bluetooth to play music or watch videos or whatever. And then look at the different light settings. Cool, huh? So then we finally got the Dyson, but the one that you plug in because the cordless one, although it's convenient, the battery life sucks. It's good to just vacuum up like one room at a time. So I'm gonna move the old um, Dyson upstairs. And then this is the one we got for the house. Just the regular one. This was $100 off right now at Bed Bath & Beyond. We also got, see Mel just loves his classic mop. He's not like a, you know, like a Swiffer wet jet type of guy. He just likes the classic type of mop. So he got this. And then we also got a steam mop. I watch a ton of moms on YouTube and all of them swear by their steam mops because it doesn't use like any chemicals or anything to clean the floors. So I got a shark lift away. Got this for our master shower, a stainless steel caddy for the corner. And then we got a few more things. Mel got those house shoes. Look like I'm fresh out of prison. What are those? Okay. Well. I also decided to upgrade our silverware. These are so much more like fancy and nice. This is by Living living by robinson this was a hundred percent needed i don't know if it's as good as it looks it's called it's like a self-sharpening um knife block so our knives are always so so dull so i knew for the new house i wanted to upgrade our knife set so i got this one hopefully it's actually like stays sharp they're always sharp at the beginning but i hope this like actually does something for us this is a mattress protector then I also got these little clear trays. I just wanna see how these fit in my bathroom and if they fit nicely, I'll get more. But I just got this little organizer. Got this sponge just for like body wash. Yeah, I got two of those. And then Mel got a sponge as well. I also wanna give you guys a quick update on what the house is looking like. Um, still don't have that much furniture, but so far in the master bedroom, the Ikea mirror, the bed, the unmade bed, I'm sorry guys, I'm just too lazy to make it. Our nightstands, our bathroom is finally organized. I have my suitcase out because I'm starting to pack. Oh, wrong switch. So I finally got rid of all of the boxes in the bathroom, thank goodness. But we have everything out in the shower. And by the way, the shower caddy Mel and I bought in the hall I just showed you, he kind of closed it too tight and he can't loosen it up so it doesn't fit in there anymore so we have to buy another one. So we just have it like laid out like this but we're gonna for sure get a shower caddy for that corner. Mel and I are finally sharing a bathroom so I have all of our stuff all organized over here. So this one is Mel's side. Um, I need to put that shampoo and conditioner in the guest bathroom. And then, I hate that Mel leaves his toothbrush out. Like that shit makes, that's the type of things that make me mad. Now, my side in this corner, cause I have a longer countertop, I have my perfume tray out, my jewelry. So this perfume tray is from Home Goods, And then this uh, slab is from Urban Outfitters. It's like marble slab. So again, cause I have the longer side, we have to keep our towels over in these cabinets. But I have all my hair, oh, oh my gosh. We're just gonna keep you in there. Nala. And then you guys saw in the Bed Bath & Beyond haul, I got these two trays and you guys, they fit perfectly. I'm so excited about this. So horizontal, they both fit literally perfect. It's, oh my gosh, this made me so happy, you guys. But I just keep all of like bobby pins, hair ties, clips, Q-tips, tinkles, razors for my beard and mustache scrunchies you know this just like turned out perfect so that's it for the master oh my god i forgot i left Nala in there <laughs> Nala, i forgot so we also got all of the tvs and soundbars mounted in the house i had geek squad from best buy come out literally the day after we moved in to put them all up so we have one in the master oh guys i forgot to show you our washer and dryer finally got delivered so we have our nice little washer dryer. This is also gonna be Nala's litter station. Here's the Dyson we bought the other day and another TV that we mounted. So this is gonna be like the lounge um, chill loft area. I also had a designer come in um, to build plans for us to build 
you know, shelving all around it. And we're gonna put a mini fridge in the shelf. So we're gonna have like little drinks and stuff so people don't have to go all the way downstairs to grab a drink like when we're watching a movie. So the baby's room doesn't have a light yet, which is annoying, but that shag rug I bought over at the old apartment. But it was just getting dirty way too quick with all the animals. So I had it rolled up in the closet, got it washed um, the other day so we can put it out in the loft. But it's just this really pretty shag black rug from Z Gallery. So we also have that going over there. It's really annoying that none of these rooms have lights. I need to get lights for all of these rooms. But this is my beauty room. My beauty room is organized for the most part. We only have one box of makeup that needs to get put away and then we have the iHome that I showed you guys that I got Ikea Alex 9 drawers I actually decided to just keep it in the closet just to save some space so that's what we did for there this came downstairs to the living room so I don't know if you guys saw but I tweeted about this I ordered the couch that I want to put in the living room I literally ordered it in September September and it's supposed to be delivered this month which is December so that's still not here yet. Hopefully everything will be delivered by the time we get home from the holidays. But we also got this TV mounted. But again, I had the designer come in the other day and we built a plan for shelving and like mirroring all around it. So it's gonna just make the house look so much more chic and luxe. So I'm so excited for that. I also ordered a dining room table from Z Gallery a while ago, so that should be coming soon. This is just the dining room table we had in the previous apartment. Kitchen, kitchen's pretty much like done. Oh, let me show you guys our fridge. It has a black interior, so honestly, anything you put in it just pops so much more. It's such a beautiful fridge. I grabbed this cup from the sink, so it's pretty dirty. But look at this, when you put water, it tells you how many ounces. Look, how cool is that? Like when I saw this, I was like, oh shit, y'all, we up. So I'm sorting through some PR right now, but I actually ordered this wallpaper off of Amazon for the master bedroom. So obviously we're gonna have to do this when we get back from our trip, but I got this beautiful silver metallic wallpaper, but Mel and I have never put up wallpaper, so I'm kind of nervous, but this one says it's easy to like stick and stuff. It had good reviews. This is gonna go on the wall with the bed against it. So I think this will add a really nice luxe touch to the house as well and make it look more chic. Okay guys, so now I'm about to start packing my bag. It's already like nine o'clock at night and our flight's at six o'clock in the morning. I actually just got a new shipment from Windsor. I have all the clothes. I just took them on the box laying out right there. But I just got a new order from Windsor. I swear I always get an order from Windsor at the most perfect time. I always get it like right before trips, which is great so I can have some new pieces to wear. But before I show you guys all the clothes, I quickly also wanted to mention that Windsor has really, really cute pieces for New Year's Eve. I know New Year's Eve is around the corner and you guys want to look cute and look snatched. Last New Year's Eve, I did a whole lookbook with Windsor. They have a really, really cute pieces for New Year's. So if you need something last minute too, they do have a bunch of stores. They're not just online, they do have stores all over the US. So make sure you guys check that out. They're a great place to get your New Year's Eve fit from. And yeah, let's get into this haul. I have everything linked down below for you guys so you guys can easily shop. So this first top I'm gonna be taking with me for sure. It is this gray wrap top from Windsor, of course. And bless maternity leggings because with maternity leggings, I can actually wear crop tops and little tops like that. But yeah, it's really comfortable. And oh my gosh, these boobs, like I cannot deal. But yeah, this is for sure going in my suitcase. Off the shoulder top and it has a cutout for the tatas. But I just did, I don't do strapless bras. I hate strapless bras. So what I did was I just took my bra straps and I tucked it on the sides so you can't see them. And it still gives me a ton of support because this shirt is stretchy. And this is a size medium, by the way. All the shirts I got in a size medium. And yeah, it's just black, long sleeve. It looks really cute with leggings because it just looks like a jumpsuit but i really like this as well i'm gonna take this home too i'm so freaking happy this top fits when i ordered it online i was like i don't know if this is gonna fit the belly but it's actually such a stretchy and comfortable material so it is this black t-shirt well not a t-shirt but a black top that has this adorable diamond detailing on the side. I think this is the perfect top for New Year's if you're just doing a low key thing and you don't need to like really dress up and put on a dress and heels and stuff. Like I'll probably just wear this top with a pair of jeans and some heels. Next up from Windsor, I got this really comfortable and cozy sweater. So it looks a lot more orange on camera, 
but in real life it's definitely a lot more like brown it's like an orangey brown but it's super comfortable perfect for back home so this is going with me as well i'm just gonna be i'm like literally packing my suitcase as i'm trying on all these outfits it fits really well and i love the tie detail i love things that have a tie because you can tie it like above the bump so it like really emphasizes the baby bump so I like that a lot. This literally looks like the dress version of the sweater I just showed you, but this dress is so cute. I ordered it in two colors. I'm so happy I did because it fits perfectly. It is this V-neck sweater type dress. I feel so snatched in it. Well, as snatched as you can feel while pregnant, but it is so flattering and so comfortable, very stretchy, and I just love the shape of it a lot. It's so perfect for this winter and fall. You know, pairing it with some little heels or boots. I also picked it up in this forest green color. They also had it in black, but I wear way too much black, so I was like, do not order the black nose. Trust me, I wanted to order the black, but I stopped myself and I got the orange, the brownish orange, and then the green. I'm gonna go put on the green for you guys. So here's the green one. I can't decide which color I like better. Um, again, with the lighting, it's just making it look like darker than it really is. It's a true forest green. But again, it's the exact same dress. I don't know which one I like more, to be honest. I think with my hair color, I think I like the green more. What do you guys think? But overall, love, 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 love this dress. So I decided to come out to this mirror because I feel like the mirror in there wasn't showing the true color of all the pieces. So I think this one is doing a way better job at showing like what the color actually looks like. But this is definitely more of a going out type of dress, but it's so cute. Off the shoulder, you guys know that's my favorite neckline. And it is this sequin light pink dress. So, so, so pretty. And it's really comfortable. Also from Windsor, I picked up this basic white scoop neck bodysuit. This will look great under so many different coats. Um, I can easily throw on a scarf. Like this is just a great base layering piece with a bunch of different outfits. So I'm actually gonna use this bodysuit to show you guys a few jackets I got from Windsor as well. What'd you say? Such a cuteness. Looks super fabulous. <laughs> Mal walked in. I was trying on this bodysuit, and he said he likes how it makes my bump look. My little boy boy. Aww. I also grabbed this little puffer coat as well. It is just white and then it has these stripes, like these, what is that? Navy, white, and red stripes. Windsor has a lot of great basics. I highly recommend all their turtleneck bodysuits. I have a white one and a black one and I wear them like crazy during the winter season. I love this jacket. It's so cozy and easy to just throw on over anything. It is this light brown tan Sherpa. I guess it's like a Sherpa style jacket. So honestly, I would totally just wear this, like the leggings, the bodysuit, the jacket, and then just throw on a pair of like white boots. And I feel like that's a fit. Last clothing item I have to show you guys is this jumpsuit. So I thought this would be really cute and comfortable to wear if I have a night out. It is this black jumpsuit. So it goes all the way down. My panties are biting into it. If I was to wear this out, I would not wear underwear with it because you can see like, you know, panty lines biting in. But it is a black stretchy off the shoulder bodysuit, you guys know this is my neckline. So that's it for all the clothing items. I have a pair of shoes that I picked up from Windsor as well. Snake skin boots, so cute. They're just these leather, you know, gray snake skin heeled boots. So that is it for the little haul. Again, everything will be linked down below for you guys. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night packing. I have some content due um, before I go as well, so Mel and I need to film that. And Mel right now, he's heating up a frozen pizza for us because we're hungry. And again, we don't really have groceries because there was no point in grocery shopping when we're about to leave for a trip. Just spend the whole rest of the night packing. I have an Uber scheduled for 3.30 a.m., a bright and early. So, yeah, we can't really like sleep tonight, so. So Mel brought me my pizza in bed and I ate all of it, so I couldn't even show you, but it's the California Pizza Kitchen, the barbecue one that's like in the freezer section, you know what I'm talking about? But, y'all, this recipe video popped up on my recommended for me because you know i'm just procrastinating on packing because that's what i do best but it is so this was on my recommended for me and this 
Jamaican jerk chicken Cajun pasta situation here looks so good right now. Oh my god, hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys need to see this pasta. I'm about to make this. I'm not even kidding. Not now, but like when I get back, obviously. Look. <gasps> Oh. We finished the pasta. Oh my gosh. We got some jerk chicken. My mouth is watering. This is the biggest yawn in the world, guys. It's been a few hours since I last spoke to y'all. Just got the rest of my packing done. So let me show you guys. I'm taking a carry on because not everything was fitting in the luggage. But for the most part, I'm all packed up. We're just waiting on the Uber to come. Get us airport fit. I'm wearing this Nike hoodie, leggings, and oh, some know. Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I have two more things to go in there. guys we just landed in Chicago we're at Danny's house now but look at this do you guys see this I fell asleep like I didn't have a chance to wash off my makeup before the flight and I fell asleep like on my face and I wake up and my lash is like horrible I mean I wore sunglasses around the airport thank god because that's just like embarrassing I'm taking this off it's horrible but thank you guys oh my gosh the difference expose myself thank you guys so much for watching really hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and also make sure your post notifications are turned on oh my god my makeup looks so bad oh horrible but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys for my next video bye guys